Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports, and today I want to talk about the National Hockey League. The Boston Bruins have made a trade acquiring a top-line defenseman. What I want to talk about today is who the Bruins acquired and how this helps them in 2022. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, the Boston Bruins have made a trade acquiring a defenseman. According to multiple reports, the Boston Bruins will receive Hampus Lindholm and Cody Curran from the Anaheim Ducks in return for John Moore, Erho Vakanainen, a 2022 first-round pick, and a 2023 and 2024 second-round pick. This will give the Bruins a potential top-line defenseman to pair next to Charlie McAvoy. So when you look at the Bruins' defense, it was, it was obvious that that's the direction they needed to go to improve before the NHL trade deadline, which is on Monday. The Bruins' defense has one of the best defensemen in the National Hockey League, but after that, there are some question marks when pairing their lines. Charlie McAvoy is obviously one of the best defensemen in the National Hockey League. He is a right-handed stick, and the Bruins needed to focus on adding someone with a left-handed shot who can do a bunch of different things, and that's exactly what they acquired in Hampus Lindholm. Lindholm is six foot three, 208 pounds. So good size to him. He's a solid skater. He has five goals and 17 assists on the season. So he's not bad offensively. And he can provide a, he can impact the Bruins in all different zones. And this is a big deal for the Bruins. Cause when you looked at, you know, going into the postseason, who was going to be the play guy next to Charlie McAvoy, there were some questions we've seen Forbort, we've seen Greslick, we've seen back a nine, and who's now on his way to the Anaheim Ducks. The Bruins needed to find someone who can secure that top spot. And Lindholm is exactly someone who can do that. You look at the Bruins line now heading into the rest of the season. You got McAvoy and Lindholm at the top. You have Greslick and Carlo as a second unit, the big body defenseman, the smaller offensive minded guy. And then on the fourth, on the third line, you have Derek Forbort, who is technically the team's enforcer, and Connor Clifton, who has some big goals in his career, is kind of more of an energy defenseman, nothing special, but can provide some impact when he's on the ice. You read those lines out loud, the Boston Bruins improved significantly now by adding this trade. Now, when you look at what the Bruins gave up to acquire someone like Lindholm, John Moore is more of a negative trade value. Um, he's nothing special. Uh, the Bruins signed him a few years back, hoping he could be he could be someone of impact on the left side. Uh, he has definitely underperformed during his time with the Boston Bruins. Erho Vakanainen is one of the best prospects in the Bruins system, who finally had the chance to uh, earn some minutes this season for the Bruins. Was has been impressive when he was on the ice. Did look uh, pretty comfortable in the professional game and. Definitely has the potential to be a very solid top four defenseman, but he got injured in the Bruins farm system, not too deep. If they wanted to add someone of real impact, it looked like from a prospect perspective that back and nine and was likely on his way out. Uh, the first round pick is obviously, you know, a big deal for the Bruins. Again, their farm system isn't the deepest, but to add someone like Lindholm, you're going to have to give up solid draft picks, especially if they're acquiring a contract like John Moore, uh, to make the deal happen. And this, and the other two draft picks are, uh, obviously the Bruins are going to miss it over the next couple seasons. But again, uh, this was a move they had to make to improve the defense. So for, uh, looking at this trade on paper, I think this is a very solid trade. I do think the Bruins gave up a solid amount to a, a, acquire a Hampus Lindholm, but this is a trade the Bruins needed to make. You know, I watch the Bruins a lot. And at times I look at them defensively and they're just shaky. You know, McAvoy plays 25 plus minutes per game sometimes and is required to do a lot defensively for this team because when you get deeper into their bench, they have some question marks defensively. And when you add someone like Lindholm who can play alongside of McAvoy, you have two guys who are great skaters. Uh, Lindholm is probably not going to be a top line power play guy because you do have a, someone like Matt Greslick who can provide some impact on the power play, but He's a great skater in all three zones. He's a solid defender, great size, can play alongside McAvoy, help on the penalty kill, and provide some impact on this team defensively that they just truly don't have. So again, the Bruins lines going into the rest of the season, 
Lindholm, McAvoy, Greslick, Carlo, Clifton, Forbort. Is this team good enough to compete for a Stanley Cup? We'll have to see what their lines fully look like at the end of this trade deadline. We'll see if they have any more moves left in them. But the Bruins made their splash, added Hompus Lindholm from the Anaheim Ducks, and massively improved their defense. Last but not least, the Bruins are going to need to find a way to keep Lindholm long term. Uh, he is under. He is. This is the final year of his contract with the Ducks, which is why the Ducks were looking to move him before the NHL trade deadline. So hopefully, the Bruins can come to some sort of agreement with Lindholm uh, at season's end or around our. So hopefully the Bruins can come to some sort of agreement with Lindholm if he fits in very well. Uh, moving forward, again, he is under contract for just the rest of the season, so it certainly hurt the Bruins if they were unable to do so, giving up all of that capital and young pick players to acquire him. So Bruins fans, you should be very excited because he is going to make an immediate impact on this defense. What do you think of this move by the Boston Bruins? What do you think of Pompus Lindholm moving east? Feel free to give me your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.